Welcome, dear traders. It's me, Kate Stichina, and you're watching a recap of the Asian session. Australian and Japanese stocks rose amid optimism on Wall Street. Yesterday, all three US stock indexes notched the strongest intraday gain since early December. It's possible that the Santa Claus rally will take place this year. <music> Usually, the seasonal increase in stocks in the last weeks of December occurs for a specific reason. During this period, investors pay taxes and get rid of the worst performing assets. Hedge funds buy shares of the top companies. It helps them provide a stronger annual report on the activity. What's more, many companies pay off dividends to shareholders. Investors can use them to purchase new shares. Stocks could jump considerably if, apart from seasonal factors, companies publish strong earnings reports and there are positive economic macro stats. For example, yesterday the sentiment improved significantly following the release of a positive survey of the US inflation expectations and the Consumer Confidence Index. Inflation expectations unexpectedly dived to the lowest level of 6.7% since September 2021. Consumer confidence jumped to eight months' highs. A seen optimism is gradually crawling back as the holidays are approaching despite certain risks. This is why investors are still anticipating a Santa Claus rally. Although traders hope to receive high profits at the end of the year, Year, and they are also aware of the current risks. For instance, the yield on the two-year treasury dipped below the Fed's key rate. The central bank raised the rate to 4.5% at its last meeting. The yield on the two-year treasury dropped to 4.2%. This is rather an unpleasant surprise for traders. This may be a sign of the greenback's weakness and lead to its further decline. A gap between the two year treasury yield and the interest rate is historically a negative factor for the US currency stocks may roll back to. After this stage of the economic cycle, a recession may cure. The US has already diverted considerably amid recession fears. In the early morning on Thursday, it was trading near six months low. Besides, um, it's uh, unable to spread its wings due to strong yen. The latter is steadily growing thanks to the Bank of Japan's hawkish move. As a result, the US currency sank even more versus its main rivals after a slight increase yesterday. It declined to 103.90 in the Asian session, and last week the US currency tested the June low of 103.40. After that, it managed to halt its further fall. And however, the price may try to break through this level once again. It's now moving in the intraday range of 103.80 and 104.20, not far from the indicated level. If it drops below this support level, it may approach the main low of 101.30. And the resistance level is now located at the previous highs of 105.80 and 107.20. Now the US dollar is a trading in the red price corridor, lacking drivers for a rebound. The yen maintains its bullish bias. On the Wednesday, it closed at 132.50. In the Asian session today, the dollar yen pair touched 131.90. It was consolidating in the channel of 131.60 and 132.5, and with the yen moving higher. The Bank of Japan held its second uh, unshed yield bond by an operation which also pushed the pair lower. The yield of Japanese government bonds has also settled in the high range. Nevertheless, keep in mind that the rally of the yen is unfolding against the backdrop of sluggish moves of the US treasuries and the low market volumes ahead of the holidays. Its trajectory may also be affected by the US GDP and the labor market data which are on the top today. Yesterday, the Australian dollar climbed to 0.6706 versus its main rivals amid improved risk appetite. Sentiment on Wall Street was bolstered by positive earnings reports 
from Nike and FedEx. It appears investors believe that the upcoming earnings season could be much better than expected. The Aussie, which is rather sensitive to stock movements, grew to 0.6755 in the Asian session. The RTUSD pair was hovering in the range of 0.6703 and 0.6769. Judging by the technical indicators, the pair is still moving along the downtrend line of a match. The resistance is seen at 0.6768. A possible drop below 0.6654 could lead to a steeper decline. At a risk sentiment was stronger in the Asian session. The Aussie scored bigger gains than the New Zealand dollar did, and however the Kiwi was also rising in the early morning. It was trading in the upward channel of a 0.6284 and 0.6332. The NZD USD pair jumped to 0.6316. However, after the release of the crucial use data, the pair may lose momentum. And that's all for now. Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with the latest market news. See you soon.